guys, it's John from John Tech G. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a revisit on my tutorial on how to connect your AV to your HDTV. Now there were some comments here, you'll see right there, about uh, questions concerned why the screen is black and white, why if there would be uh, any damage to the screen, I would assume over a long period of use, and um, where to connect basically. I heard there's also a comment uh, about the head. I mean, like three or four reds, two blues, and uh, like two yellows. And I was like, what? If you're unsure what it looks like, here's a picture right here. It'll be right there. And we will go over that today. And I'll be using, I guess I'll use my Xbox original as my, uh, my example. There she is. There's the Xbox original. I actually have two. Uh, one I do want to uh, hack. Well, not hack, but you know. Uh, custom it. Customize it uh, for uh, saving the games that I have. I do have games in here. Is this, I think this is a 360. On this side, I do have games. Say like Halo. The reason why I want to hack it is so I can preserve the discs. Those discs are getting pretty old. Long for three. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this as my example. Again, this is my Emerson uh, TV, which I got from Walmart. It's the exact same from the last uh, one I did. Except for this time, I'm going to explain it a little bit better, okay? Here. So when you look at HDTV, these bottom two, these are your audio, right and left. Do not plug anything in here except for audio, okay? Up here you have red, blue, and uh, green. The green is where the shallow one's going to go, okay? Now. This is where people got. Here, let me put this down. This is probably where everyone got confused over why there's issues with black and white. Yellow will go into green, okay? It goes right in there. Red will go to the audio on the bottom, and white to the audio on the bottom. Now, notice how blue and red are empty, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the example of what I mean. Why well, you don't want to plug anything into these. If you have an HD set of cables, then yeah, go right ahead. But we're not doing that for this purpose. For this purpose, it's just the TV. Now, my TV's dirty. I understand. I don't care. It's old. I use it for old stuff. So, we'll go ahead and switch on this TV down here at the bottom. Okay. There you go. It says digital television. Go ahead and grab this to the back. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my Xbox. Boom, Xbox is on. There's no cables, but it's okay. I need to make sure this is on. It's on video. Okay. There you go. Xbox in color, by the way. It's gonna tell me probably to update my. Uh... Actually, I think there's. I think Halo 2 is in there. Never mind. There you go, Microsoft Games do this. Don't want to get copyrighted with their music. Alright, now for people that ask, will the image get burned? Well, let's see. This is an LCD. So the answer is technically, it's no, it's yes, it can happen, but it's more rare on an LCD. If this was a, uh, like a CRT or a plasma, after so many hours, it may burn in the image. So if I let it sit in Halo 2 for about 4 or 5 hours, it will burn in on my TV as Halo 2. No matter what I watch, what I do. But here is a good example. If you don't get color, and you accidentally have anything plugged into here, watch this. Now, it's grayscale. Black and white. Let me turn the light off so you can see. See, this is black and white. There is no no color. Same thing goes for the other. If I take this white, as you can see in the back, it changes. Put it into blue. Same thing happens. Actually, this actually still might work as color. But usually what happens it'll it'll turn black. Especially if I do all three. In here. 
now you have this weird array of coloring going on here. You may not be able to see it, but there's a ton of white, uh, a red and green flickering on top of the black. That's not what we want. Make sure nothing else is unplugged into those spots. I only did the audios as a test. Okay. You want to leave it as is. There you go. Color. There's, there's color. See? Working perfectly fine. Okay. Also, on the back of your TV, most likely, should be if you see in the back here, it says analog in, got Y, CVBS, PB, PR, and audio. That's basically telling you the layout of these. You want your yellow basically to go into the Y, which is your video. Ignore these. Do not have anything plugged into these or you will have black and white or flickering colors. Make sure these are plugged into the audio ports respectively to the TV. Enjoy playing your old school games. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off as well. Okay. So, back in the older video, uh, I kept saying composite component. And this is your composite. I mean, not composite, component. Component set and a component set. Cables, it's your component. Basically, what that meant is uh, there is a uh, composite is basically your yellow, red, white, your audio. And a component is what I just showed you. You get the yellow, the green, the blue, then your audio. All you have to do is make sure that only the yellow is plugged to the green and the other two free ports, the red and blue, are not have anything in them because if you do, you'll have the black and white issue or the color issue and leave your audio in. Um, but like I said, if you do have a, uh, a component set of cables, plug them right in. HDTV is always better. It's, and as we get to the newer consoles, the Xbox One, which I do have, it's what this is sitting on, uh, PS4 and all that stuff, uh, you have HDMI, which is <laughs> a hell of a lot better. But for, for people like you and I, Look like play like PlayStation One, which if you don't believe me, I, I got it. I have old PS One. I have the older PS One, the big one, in my closet. It's not hooked up right now. I need a new spindle for it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this cured up some questions about it. Uh, any of the black and white audio or uh, video problems, the uh, burning image. I hope that answered that guy's question. I don't know if it was a guy or girl. Don't hate on me. Uh, now, this also is the same thing for this TV. Okay, this TV also is the same way. It has standard and HD set. Uh, I could do both. There was the one guy that answered one of the questions onto one of my comments. Uh, just plug it into another set. I'm like, yeah, but this video, like I said, is for people that have only one set. Because we're cheap. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you prefer my older video over this video, well, what can I do? Alright guys, have a good day, and I'll see you next time with another tech video. Peace.